Hey guys, how are you going and welcome to a 14th Svelte tutorial. This one is going to be on event forwarding. Okay, so um, this is a nice little follow up to the previous tutorials on events. So um, event forwarding is simply just a shortcut for using the create event dispatcher and things like that. So we're going to have a look at a quick example of what exactly event forwarding is. Okay, so um, let's go inside the source directory right here. We're going to be creating a new button component and this button is simply just going to be a styled button and it's going to wrap a regular HTML button. Okay, so we can call this one styled button. Dot svelte, and like I said, it is going to wrap a regular um, HTML button. So we can just make a new script right up here. We're going to be leveraging props, so we can just quite simply um, we can just say export let uh, text, okay, just to grab the button text, and then we can just uh, go down here and we can make the actual button itself, and then inside here we can just take in the text. So now it's going to be quite easy to of course use this. So if we go inside the app.svelts now and then we just bring in the styled button. So we can say import styled button from dot forward slash styled button dot svelts and then we just go up here and we say styled button. We can take in the text and we can just say for this uh, click me. So something like that. I'll just close that one off and we're good to go. So now uh, saving this right here, we're going to get this right here in the browser. Obviously, as we just saw, it simply uh, took in the prop for text and it is simply then just injecting it into the button right there. So I want to essentially do something like this where I say, okay, when my styled button gets clicked on, I want to react to it. So I can say something like this where I first just create a new function called handle um, handle click. Okay, then I can just say alert, um, you know, you clicked the button. So something like that. Now, like I said, I want to say um, basically down here, I want to do on click. Okay, actually, let's put it at the end here. So we're going to say on click like this. I want to react to the button. So we can say on click and then we can say handle click right there. So now saving this and going inside the browser, we may expect this to work. So if I press on this button, we can see unfortunately it does not work because the component itself does not dispatch an event called click. Even though, of course, the root element inside here is a button, it doesn't mean it's going to automatically be, you know, brought up. So we need to actually define this and make it work. So, of course, um, what we covered in the previous video, we can easily create an event dispatcher. So let's import that right now. We can just simply say import and we can say create event dispatcher. Uh, from Svelte as we did last time. So from Svelte just like this and then we can just say essentially, you know, function handle click once again, then we can just say um, if I just create a, um, a dispatch right here, so equals uh, create event dispatcher. Okay, if I can actually type this correctly, let's get that out of the way and try again. So create event dispatcher then we can simply just say dispatch right here and we can uh, quite simply dispatch the click event like that and then we can just say on click we're going to handle click so now when you click on the button it is going to dispatch the event of click to the parent app right there so now this right here is going to work it is going to receive that event so saving this and going back inside the browser we can see we now get this click event working perfectly fine. But as we just saw, there was quite a bit of code required here to actually get the button to be clickable. Okay, so we can actually simplify this really nicely using Svelte. So it's easily done. We can remove all of this event dispatcher stuff right here. And we can simply specify on click just like this. Okay, so now it is going to simply listen for the on click when it uh, when the button gets clicked on it is going to automatically dispatch the event using the same event name right here to the parent so now saving this going in the browser we can see we get the exact same result and it's working perfectly fine
Okay, so that right there is uh, event forwarding. Obviously quite a neat little trick for events. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.